Hi and welcome back. Thank you for that little vacation. It is cold, it is windy. The skies are not bad right now, but we've got something blowing in this weekend and it's supposed to be here all week. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna try to um, survive off of this week off of a budget. With the economy and everything that's been going on, um, we want to make sure we want to try we want to try to get a little bit more budget friendly meals and that's what i'm wanting to do at least at the beginning part of this year um, i'm going to go ahead and make another uh like a folder on youtube of budget friendly meals we're going to go ahead and get a week's worth of groceries make it and we'll see how much it costs we're going to start out at Walmart only because everybody has a Walmart. Not everybody has a Walmart with food, but most places do. So let's get started. Now, just keep in mind that not everybody's Walmart is going to have the same prices. Uh, so there's going to be sales, and if you can find it for cheaper, get it. Cabbage is always good. Onions. I always get onions unless you can't have them. And garlic. Don't forget garlic. I want red potatoes. We'll get the minis. All right, so a little bit of a change. Same price. We're going to do a medley. The Forbidden Isle. Just because I can't have this doesn't mean the rest of the family can't have a sandwich. All right, and if you can't find fresh, frozen will work as well. Okay, so you can either get one of these, which is the bags of leg quarters, or you can also buy these whenever they go on clearance at the end of the day. We can get them for like $4 a piece. I usually get two. I'm going to buy one if they're not on sale yet. So they're still $5.97. You can save a few dollars if you wait till the end of the day. And what I do is that I will utilize the entire chicken. I'll strip the meat off of it and put the bones in the freezer. Whenever I have enough, I'll make stock. And you can do that with any chicken cooked chicken product. I even did that with KFC. It works. Technically it's cheese, just, I'm not a fan. But to get the cheese that you can afford. Okay, now I have real butter at home, so I'm gonna be using that. But for margarine, it's, it is cheaper. Because that is $3.98. For a small thing of margarine, same price. Or for, say, sticks of margarine, $1.38 for the same amount, just in stick form. All right, so what do we want for the breakfast? Bacon, sausage. We're definitely getting eggs. We'll just get a dozen, but go ahead and pick out what you want. These 
are two ninety seven. These are two ninety seven. They look the, to be about the same. This is sixteen ounces. That's twelve ounces. So this is the better deal. I'm not seeing anything cheaper than that, though. Now these. Uh, pork, water, salt, spices, and sugar. Still has sugar in it. Not keto friendly. Okay, pork, water, corn syrup, salt, dextrose, which is another sugar, monosodium glutamate, with this, which is a um, flavor, enhancer. flavor enhancer made from wheat, uh, natural flavor, BHA. I am not even going to try to pronounce those. So pronounce it. Don't for now, it. for now, it's the sausage roll. Can't pronounce it. Don't buy it. You want one or two for the week? One. One. Okay. And a dozen eggs. They are out of the dozen eggs. This. And make sure these are all good. All right, so I remember whenever these were a dollar. They're three forty nine now, or three forty eight. There was another brand that was here that was cheaper. They don't supply those anymore. Now that we have everything home. Uh, let's go ahead and work on the chicken. Somebody likes chicken. We're going to go ahead and, and take all the meat off of it, uh, cut all the meat up, and put the bones into the Instapot to make bone broth. It's going to take about an hour to do that, and then we're going to cut up all the vegetables. Now, you can do this in a crock pot if you have multiple uh, chicken uh, carcasses. Uh, you can do it in a crock pot and let that simmer uh, for 24 hours. You can use an Instapot, which is a little bit faster because it pressure cooks everything. It takes about an hour. Or you can do it in your mom's old stock pot. Now I did kind of cheat a little bit. I've had um, chicken bones in the crock pot for 24 hours. I'm also going to go ahead and add it to what I'm making today so it'll all be one huge batch. Now the legs are kind of difficult to get all the meat off, but we're going to try. There's a lot of cartilage and extra meat that's on here. The wings are about as equally difficult if you want to get all of them off. I usually just throw them in. Um, they don't have enough meat for me to bother. Really? Don't tell Grandpa. And after you're done, you want to make sure that there are no bones in here. So we're going to go ahead and shred the chicken. Okay, so we have everything shredded. Notice the skins are not going into the pot. I don't want the extra fat. There's going to be enough fat on here already. Grandpa doesn't know it, but there's snacks after I get off of work that he doesn't know about. He really doesn't want me to start feeding her human food. Too late. That was perfect. For about that many much bones, that is one rotisserie chicken. It's worth the bones. I usually put this in the freezer and do a stock pile. So we're gonna put in about half a gallon of water. 
and about two tablespoons of salt and that's it um, we're gonna go ahead and pressure cook this for about an hour all right so we're gonna go ahead and take our cheater broth that we strain the bones out of we'll add the other stock to this whenever it's done This is where you want to season your broth. Let's go ahead and put this on a medium high. Actually, let's go ahead and move this over here. It's a bigger thing. Now, I've got some basil. We're going to add about this is going to be a large batch, a good half tablespoon. Same thing with oregano and rosemary. If you got time, use it. I keep putting, forgetting to put it on my Amazon list. And bay leaves. We want bay leaves. I'm gonna add approximately four as of, of the size of this. Everybody's been getting ready uh, for this uh, storm coming because on our, my, my way home from the grocery store uh, today, they were already putting out that solution on the on the roads to keep it to try to keep it from freezing can't really do that for a bridge but there there are stripes on the bridge people are getting ready for this there's been rumors that'll get now down to minus 12 i don't know about that pray to god not i'll let you know next week onions garlic I chop these up about spoon size. Fun fact about this pot, it used to have a strainer in it. It was the metal strainers that actually sat inside the pot and st sit there. That strainer has since been destroyed. So that is no more. The pot still works. This pot is still almost brand new. And I have known this pot all my life and I'm over 50. It's a good pot. The garlic. It's up to you how much garlic you want to put in here. You can use the whole clove or the whole, whole head. A few cloves. I'm going to put about half a head in there. If it's chopped up, I'm adding a tablespoon. But I haven't chopped up garlic yet. I already planted, I planted garlic a while ago. I'm waiting for that. R waiting for next year. What? And because they are thick, we're going to go ahead and put in our potatoes. Because those are going to t these are going to take the longest time to boil along with the carrots. Celery, not so much. These purple ones are pretty big, so we're going to go ahead and cut these up. either in halves or quarters, depending on your preference. All right, next, carrots. I'm gonna cut these in half, but I'm only gonna use about a half a bag. We are gonna fill this thing all the way to the top. So there is going to be about three, I think this is three gallons, three, five gallons 
of, um, of chicken vegetable soup. Always add the harder vegetable first. That way it has a lot more time to cook. Now you can do a mirepoix. Um, you'd have to cook the mirepoix now and get it going first and then add the stock. You can even add tomato paste to this. Give it a little bit more of a depth, uh, umami depth fla of flavor. I think there's going to be a lot in here already. But that's your choice. You can always add later. But for this big pot, I would add one of the small tins of tomato paste. Full of the, 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 the smaller uh, cans. I think it's what, four ounces? But I would do that first with the onions, celery, and carrots. Now, for the celery, for soups, I actually like, like the leaves in the soups. Not so much of the stems, but I do like the leaves. Add it in, kind of like you, you, you would your parsley. Just take, tear it off, chop it up, dump it in. All right, you notice I have a cabbage? We are going to go ahead and shred some cabbage, about a quarter of this. The rest becomes kraut. And that's another thing I'm going to be doing this weekend. But I've shown kraut so many times on this channel. If I did it again, I think people, I would lose viewers. This adds bulk, essential vitamins, fiber, and it's cheap. Not everybody likes cabbage. Um, now, it does add a lot of a bulk to it, so that way it fills you up a little bit better. Cut it in small pieces, so that way it's easier to digest. The reason why people make kraut is because it's easier to digest. Right now I have about half the pot. Done. I'm going to add more to this as soon as the, uh, the rest of the bone stock or bone broth is done. I am going to add some green beans. Some of the frozen, because I like green beans. Oh, and guess what I forgot? Add the chicken and a little bit of pepper, pepper to taste. Now that all the chicken stock is out of the Instapot and strained and put it in, into the soup, we've got a full pot. This is about what? three, four gallons of soup. Now you can go ahead and can these. Quart jars, uh, pressure can for 70, uh, was it? No, 90 minutes. Uh, pints 75 at your altitude. Because there is meat in here, it does cook for meat times. Or if you don't have a pressure cooker, you don't have access to one, boil the jars for three hours. Hard rolling boil. Make sure that the uh, water, it covers the jars at all times. And I am going to go ahead and do another canning video. Uh, water bath versus pressure cook versus safety and everything else like that like I did on my first video but that's not this t this week now I am going to do the grilled cheese not today I'm tired I'm sore I had my physical therapy I'm going to go ahead and stop filming for today tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and do the grilled cheese the eggs and sausage 
we generally don't eat breakfast. We have it maybe once a week. Um, we used to go to Denny's once a week for breakfast to j just to get out and, and spend time together. Well, it got too expensive. So we're now doing at home meals. Every once in a while we'll go out to Applebee's. Uh, but that's more of a special occasion than anything else. Mainly payday. Now we're going to go ahead and can up as much of this as we can. I've got a whole bunch of jars here. And that way you don't have to freeze it. You don't have to put it in the fridge and eat all of it during the week. Um, no, you can't have any. Now, if you don't have any bones that you've been saving and hoarding in your freezer, go ahead and buy the bag of chicken. Go ahead and bag the, buy the bag of chicken. Bake it. Then skin it. Take all the meat off. And then process the bones. So a little bit extra work. but it'll be your own. With rotisserie chicken, uh, you really don't have a say in how it's cooked. They put this kind of like a dry rub on it that does contain sugar. So if you're sugar sensitive or diabetic, watch it. Now I do realize you can do this cheaper. If you can get it, you can get ramen. You can get, really, you can get um, can soup for like $2 a, a, a thing, like $2 a can. Excuse me, somebody needs a treat. You could also buy individual cans. It'd probably be cheaper that way now if you take the vegetables and the chicken the bag of chicken that's one that's like five something okay you're paying about the same price as for what you have for the individual cans now this only limits you to one style of soup the other way does not limit you with any type of style of soup but it's processed. It has other things in there that are not very healthy for you. Um, you have a you know, whole bunch of sugars and extra salt, too much sodium, things of that nature. If you're on a special diet or diet restrictive, you need to watch what you're uh, putting in your mouth and reading the labels. Six quarts, two pints. I ran out of quart jars. Um, that equals, let's see, seven quarts, almost two gallons. It'll definitely last the week for even two people, if that's all you want to eat, or if, all, if that's all you can eat. It's so oh. nutritious, it so will Keep you alive. That's the reason why we got the sandwiches and the eggs and, and, and sausage for at least one or two breakfasts during the week. Something a little bit different. But while we're waiting for this to come up, let's go ahead and um, do uh, the toasted sandwiches. What I'm doing is I'm putting everything on the sheet. We're gonna go ahead and put mayonnaise on one side and a little bit of garlic salt. I prefer mayonnaise over butter for my toasted cheese because it's easier to spread. All it is is oil and eggs anyway. So it's not too bad. I'll go ahead and preheat. We're gonna preheat the oven to low broil. 
and it won't take any time for this Bye. to toast itself. Then we're going to flip them over, put the cheese on, and put them on top. Okay, this is four eight sandwiches. And what you can do is you can wrap, um, wrap these up, put them in the freezer, and thaw them out whenever you want them. <laughs> Have you ever noticed every time I talk, to the camera and she barks at me thinking I'm talking to her. <coughs> You're fine. <coughs> and into the oven. And that's how you do a lot of toasted cheese sandwiches all at once. Okay, so the entire loaf of bread has been made into toasties, uh, cheese toasties. There are 11 of these. I use the heel. There's nothing wrong with the heel. It's just personal preference. I saved two, about a quart of soup out for dinner for tonight. Got those the rest of the can. I got six quarts in here to come out in about 90 minutes. Those go in for 75. Well, hopefully we'll make it through this freeze. I may be able to do something next week. I'm gonna go ahead and try and save up all my batteries and stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna have uh, electricity or internet. Uh, I will try to put something out on Facebook, like a short or a reel uh, to be able to notify you guys that we're okay but i can't get anything filmed um so hopefully cross our fingers our electricity grid does not go down this time thank you for joining hope you enjoyed and we'll see you hopefully next time